Hey folks, I'm Dennis. Today I'm going to show you how to build a clamp rack for your pipe clamps. Most of the time they end up propped up in the corner or laying on a workbench, something like that, or in the floor. Thanks for watching. Let's get started. This is a pretty simple drawing that I did in SketchUp, just kind of an end view to show some of the dimensions and the general layout of the project. I had a couple six inch wide drops uh, left over from ripping some three quarter plywood from another project so I used them to build this clamp rack. First I cut two pieces to 35 and a half inches long on my miter saw and then I ripped them to four and an eighth inch wide. These are going to be glued up together to make up the top plate for the clamp rack. I didn't want to use a single ply of three quarter for the top plate because I was concerned that over time the weight of the pipe clamps would cause it to bow so I'm, that's why I'm using double thickness. I glued these, clamped them up and set them aside to dry overnight. For the sides I took a couple of pieces of four and an eighth wide uh, three quarter ply and I cut them to seven and seven sixteenths long. Then what I did is I made a mark uh, three quarter inches from the edge on, on the short side and just drew a 45 degree line and cut that off just to make a nicer edge on the front edge of the, uh, the side pieces. I then took a piece of the six inch plywood and cut it to 35 and a half inches long for the back plate. So this panel is 6 inches wide by 35 and a half. I apologize for my camera work here in a minute as I unintentionally moved my work just slightly outside the view of the camera. I mark each side for two screw holes into the top plate and two into the back plate. Since the top plate's double thickness, I place the marks on the center of the bottom layer, so one and an eighth inch down from the top edge of the side. I didn't want my screws to end up in the glue line of the top plate. You could place your screws so that one went into each layer of the top plate. I also put a couple screws to go through the side into the back plate and then drilled all those holes with a countersink bit. I took the clamps off my top plate and then using my tri-square I set it to two and three quarter inches and scribe the line from one edge all the way down. This is going to help me locate the center marks for the holes I'm going to drill that will create the slots for each pipe clamp. So I wanted to end up with four slots at inch and a quarter wide and inch and a quarter spacing for my three quarter pipe clamps and 12 slots at one inch wide with one inch spacing for my half inch pipe clamps. So I laid the center marks out on that two and three quarter inch line I scribed down the top plate to accommodate the number and the size of slots that I wanted. You can adjust this to your needs based on how many pipe clamps you've got and what sizes you've got. As you lay yours out, just be sure to allow for proper spacing on each end of the top plate as well as between each slot. This will also affect the overall width of your pipe clamp rack. I marked which holes on my top plate were inch and a quarter diameter and which ones were one inch diameter so I didn't mess up while I was drilling the holes. Then using my inch and a quarter Forstner bit, I drilled the first four holes in the top plate centered on the marks that I just made while I was laying it out. Then I switched my bit to the one inch Forstner and drilled the other 12 holes in the top plate. Then 
using my square again, I mark lines from the edge of each hole to the front edge of the top plate. These will mark my cut lines to finish off the slots for each pipe clamp. I clamped a 2x6 to my miter saw fence so I could step the top plate out. This will make the bottom of the blade come close to the bottom of the slots as I'm cutting them out. I cut each line and remove the waste to form individual slots for my clamps. And I switch my spacer block to the other side of my miter saw to finish off my cuts. Then I glue, brad, and screw the sides onto the back and the top plate. I use number 8 by inch and 5 eighths deck screws just because I have a lot of them. Right before I did this, I ran a bead of glue on the top edge of the back plate and just put it together with no fastening um, onto the bottom of the top plate. Then I attach the second side using the same method. Then about every three or four slots I drilled countersunk holes from the top plate into the back and I used number eight by two and a half inch deck screws to fasten that together. Then I fastened it to the wall into a couple of studs using some number 14 screws and filled it up with my pipe clamps. So that's an easy way to build a clamp rack for your pipe clamps and get them out of the corner, off the floor, and off your workbench. Thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it. Please give me a like below if you would. Subscribe to my channel and hope to see you back soon. Thanks.